All right, welcome back to Onwards and Upwards, everybody. I uh, hope you all can hear me okay. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video here as we're uh, hanging out on the beach in Goa. And uh, you can see all around us just this beautiful beach, wonderful waves. It's uh, just beach town after beach town. Right now we're in uh, Mayorda and uh, it's beautiful here. I'd uh, definitely recommend it. But So I just wanted to make a quick video telling my experience of the sleeper bus. So I went on a 10 hour sleeper bus from Hampi to Goa. And uh, I believe there's two, two levels of sleeper bus and we were on the more expensive one. Uh, here the, the cheaper one is a bit more chaotic even. Um, but the major cultural difference, uh, you know, when you're experiencing the sleeper bus is um, you can either buy a single bed or a double bed or a shared double bed. We waited quite last minute to book our uh, sleeper bus. So the wonderful hostel we stayed in in uh, Hampi is the Temple View Guest House. Uh, here's their information in the description as well. Check them out. Really nice uh, guest house, really nice uh, place to stay. You know, relatively cheap service for, we were shown all these wonderful spots around Hampi. So uh, I had a good experience with them, I just wanted to say. But basically, uh, he, he, was, he booked the sleeper bus for it and it, he said, he called them and he was like, there's four tickets left. One double bed, one single bed, and one shared double bed. And um, I was like, we should just book it, let's book it. It doesn't even matter, it doesn't matter if we can't, if, we can, if, I, if one of us has to share, you know, I could, I could be the one to, uh, to take, the, take the shared bed. And so we just booked it. And you know, we assumed that, uh, that, that whoever was sleeping in the shared double would be willing to take a single bed. Uh, because you know, from our perspective, it's kind of like, you know, you're offered a single bed instead of sharing a double bed with a stranger. You know, you probably take you, you're probably gonna take that uh, take that single bed, uh, but it wasn't the case. So we we got on the bus. So the bus was about an hour and a half late, uh, just as you might expect. Just uh, keep a heads up. You know, uh, it's fast and loose out here sometimes, and uh, that sleeper bus was uh, <laughs> was yeah, it was a couple hours late. So we waited for the bus. We met some nice people. Just chatted. Uh, got on the bus. And we we tried to ask this nice man. I believe his name was Raji. So if you're watching this uh, video, uh, hey Raji. Um, but I tried to ask him, uh, me, and, me, and, me and Milo, we were like, okay, so you want to take the single bed? And, and me and us two can share the double bed because, you know, it's two birds with one stone, you know? Like, uh, we, we would, he would have a single bed, we have a double bed. And he was like, no, 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 like, it just doesn't, no, I'm not down. Like, uh, yeah, he was asleep, but even when he was awake, he was quite resistant to it. So he, anyway, he, he just wanted to sleep. He was getting off in three hours. He had all his luggage in the, in the, in the compartment and he just, he just didn't want to move all his luggage. So then I had, I had a lot of luggage too. So I climbed up and I was like, where do I put my luggage? And you know, he, he was nice and he, he was saying we could put the, uh, my luggage like in between us as a little barrier, but it was just a huge backpack. So anyways, just out, like I was saying, it's a bit fast and loose at some points. So uh, turns out we could just put my, my bag right in the middle of the, of the walking, of the walkway, the, the, the alley uh, between, between the beds. Uh, and I'll just say, if you want to see footage of the actual sleeper train, this is not the video. I didn't get any footage, but um, you can find that pretty easily on YouTube. After I got my luggage uh, relatively safe, even though it was in the middle of the walkway, uh, I went up, uh, was sort of settling in, and it was my first time sleeping with a stranger. Raji could tell that I was a little bit uncomfortable, and uh, so he was actually a really nice guy. He was uh, working, he was just commuting between a couple towns, and. Uh, um, he was only sleeping for a few hours, so uh, he was saying like, yeah, sleep for a few hours, then you go and you have the bed. I was moving around a bit, so I think he could tell I was a bit uncomfortable. And he just started some small talk. He you know, asked me where I was from, what I do, what I study. I appreciate that he uh, made me feel a bit comfortable. We uh, went to sleep. Uh, the, it was very rickety. It was completely, uh, the roads are very rough in many parts of India, and it just felt like, you know, we're just swaying back and forth, like big bumps. Sometimes you'd be not thrown in the air, but you know, that sort of thing. That took a little bit of get, getting used to as well, but ultimately actually managed to sleep. Not bad, uh, better than the sleeper train. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about that at some point too. Uh, comment below if you wanna hear about the sleeper train experience. Um, eventually I managed to fall asleep and a couple hours later he woke me up. He got his stuff, went down and, uh, and left. And uh, for the rest of the night, for about seven hours, I had a whole double bed to myself, which was actually quite good. And I managed to get quite a lot of sleep. We were quite worried about our stop, you know, what stop they were gonna stop at. Uh, were, were they gonna tell us before when, the, when they were stopping or would they let people sleep through it? And uh, we were a bit over, you know, we were a bit over cautious, even though it's nice to be careful because uh, the, the, the man, he was about my age or younger and he, uh, he went by and he woke everybody up uh, telling what you know, telling the stop was here. Very, very considerate of him. 
could have been much worse. I find uh, the majority of people you meet out here are really friendly. It wasn't scarring, it wasn't traumatic, and it's, it's a good story that I'll be able to tell now. So if by the time you're watching this video, I have some, uh, some Goa videos out, click the link above. Uh, and also, if you want to see a couple Hampi videos, we've checked out some awesome temples, awesome ruins and, and nature in Hampi. A really, really beautiful city. So click the link up there if you want to see some of those. Anyways, with that being said, uh, have, a good, have a good rest of your day and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I ho hope you can come to India at one point. It's a really wonderful place to travel. And uh, have a nice day and see you next time on Onwards and Upwards. Like and subscribe to Onwards and Upwards. You gotta like this video and you gotta subscribe to Onwards and Upwards or else you're gonna, you're gonna be sad that you didn't, you know, because you're missing a bunch of good content if you don't like and subscribe. If you don't like and subscribe, I will put a curse on your entire family. For generations. For generations to come. So like and subscribe. And Zach doesn't have anything to say. He's just a fucking nerd reading his book. <laughs> just like, unsubscribe, and don't bother. <laughs> What an optimistic man Zach is.